in Asia markets were mostly in the positive territory despite lingering concerns over an economic slowdown in China with dampened sentiment at the start of the week after China released trade data. South Korea's Kospi added 32.66 points. In Japan, the benchmark Nikkei 225 added 195.59 points. Greater China market gained. Hong Kong's Hansen Index rose 1.82%, while the mainland Chinese markets rose as the Shanghai Composite added 34.58 points. Australia's ASS 200 was up, but 1.20 points. And in the U.S., stock futures pointed to a rebound on Tuesday as positive headlines around China alleviated fears of an impending slowdown in the world's second largest economy. As of 5.45 a.m. Eastern Time, Dow futures traded 72 points higher, indicating a 59-point rise at the open. S&P 500 and Nasdaq futures were also slightly higher. Meanwhile, earnings season is in full swing, with investors keenly watching out for results from Wall Street Titans, J.P. Morgan, and Wells Fargo's for clues as to how they fared during last month's market volatility. Also weighing on investors is the partial government shutdown, which has entered its 25th day as the longest shutdown on record. And to commodities market, now let's talk about orange. Orange is one of the most popular citrus fruit consumed by populations worldwide. Oranges contribute significantly to the bulk of world citrus fruit production, accounting for more than 50% of the global citrus production. Output and consumption of oranges has grown sharply over the past three decades at a compounded rate of 3.5%. Production and exportation of processed orange products have also increased by 4.4% over the same period because of the improvement in transportation and the low packaging costs. Of all the oranges produced worldwide, 20% of the total is sold as a whole fruit, while the remainder is used in making extracts and juice. Now, Brazil is the world's largest producer of oranges, a fruit rich in vitamin C and other essential nutrients, while Nigeria, Nigeria is the largest producer of oranges in sub-Saharan -Sub Africa and ninth in the world. Now, our focus is on domestic orange production. Let's talk to Nosike Mwajide, one of the research analysts with Financial Derivatives Company. Hello, Nosike. Good afternoon. Thank you very much for coming to us. Good afternoon, Chimeji. Thank you very much. So having. what is the current state of the orange market in Nigeria, and why is the production still below commercial standards? Well, production at the moment is still, it's done mostly by individual farmers on a scale that is, you can describe as less than commercial. The output at the moment is about 4.2 million tons. Uh, the potential output is somewhere around 8 million tons. Now, uh, at, at this point, we have farmers who, who take their products from the farm to the local market, or marketers who buy, buy the, the oranges from the farmers and take them to the local markets before taking them to the urban centers. Now, between these two or three points, uh, typically, there's about 30 to 50 percent loss in in the amount of oranges that have been cultivated, if you will. So that that 50 percent, that 30 to 50 percent, is one of the reasons why Nigeria is yet to produce on a, a commercial what, what you would call commercial quantity. There's also oranges are highly perishable, and then there's also the issue of seasonality and storage. Storage is one of the biggest issues. We're yet to have effective storage um, facilities that that can store these oranges for long for long periods. And uh, since uh, the cultivation is seasonal, um, we, have, we have periods where um, we have no oranges in the market at all. And then uh, there's also the issue of um, the big orange producers in Nigeria who import the orange concentrates, the juice concentrates, and have little to no investment in the actual production of uh, oranges in Nigeria. I mean, that's if they, they have zero incentive to, to cultivate the oranges, if they can produce, if they can import they concentrate at uh, cheaper than they would produce it here. Okay. Now, the most lucrative part of the orange and the citrus value chain is in the processing of the juice. Uh, why is this industry virtually non-existent in Nigeria? Uh, it goes back to, to the problem problem I grew up in. Uh, Nigerians are 550 million of juice and not just citrus, not orange. Uh, uh, all, all 95% of this is made for concentrates, which are important. 
like I said earlier, as long as the park being talks and concentrates, there'll be almost no government sector will be honest. Uh, the, the challenges of agro processing are well known. There are the structural problems, there's the back finance, there's uh, infrastructure, the implementation of government policy. Well, Nosike, I, I guess we're having some challenges there with the audio. Um, we have to leave it at that. Thank you very much um, for your time. Okay, we'll take a break, and when we come back, we take some coffee all the way from Ethiopia. Just stay with us. <laughs> 